Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to the channel. And today we'll talk about logging in Oracle Service Bus 12C. So in our last video, we talked about error handling in OSB, how you can create your own custom faults and handle that using an error handler action in your OSB. So we can leverage this logging framework also in order to log the error information. And at the same time, we can also log certain informations from the message in order to debug the code. So if you have not seen my last video on OSB error handling, please do check that out. Link is in the description and also on the top of this video right now in the YouTube card. So OSB uses Oracle Diagnostic Logging Framework in order to log messages. And ODL writes diagnostic log messages to a file in the location that you can see on your screen right now, so which is under uh, under your domain in logs and it's by default it's the diagnostic log file however you can change it you can also change the max size of that file and also the duration that when the last change file will be deleted but that's all the admin work but from the developers perspective you only need to know how you can leverage or how you can use the log action in order to log information or log error to this diagnostic log file so let's start so i will be creating an osb project and i will be using the same schema that we used last time so let's create the project now let's call this logging demo And now I'll create these folder structure and everything, copy over the schema. So I will fast forward this whole thing. Here you go. So we have created the folder structure and the schema that has a request element, employee ID, name and location and we will try and log this information to our diagnostic log file. Let's quickly create a proxy service and a simple pipeline. I have shown you how to do that in last video so I will fast forward this. So here you go, the skeleton of our complete uh, OSP service is complete. And now let's uh, drag and drop the pipeline pair. Here you go, let's give a significant name to this. We'll call it info logging stage so we log some information here and if something goes wrong we'll use the error handler action to log the error message and here error logging stage now let's see how we can log the message so this is an action log action we can drag and drop it to the stage wherever we want to log something and now this is the severity levels of this so debug info warning and error info will go as a notification to your diagnostic log files and more often than not most support members of our team those who are monitoring the logs they will most of the time they look into the error logs only which is being encapsulated within the error tag however if you being a developer you want to log certain information 
as a notification you can use this info or debug so let's use this info here under this content type let me get the whole body and in summary usually people write something which they can search within the logs to ensure that that's how it is some people use uh, your project name or pipeline proxy name here but for demonstration purpose let's just say logging info i'll show you how it looks in the log file here we go and if something goes wrong we would want to log the fault let's do that under the error the complete fault variable logging fault now let's deploy the service okay so service is deployed now let's test it so here is our service logging demo let's test the pipeline let's execute now let's go to the diagnostic log files in our server and see how this information has been added to that file so here we go this is the diagnostic log file and i searched this logging info tab here and we can see this is the complete body that we logged in here and if you see this complete log it goes from here to here it has been added as a notification right when something error comes it will be added here as an error so now let's try to create a custom fault error that out and let's log the fault and see how it looks okay so now here before logging let's raise an error I have shown you guys how to raise an error in the last video um, assuming that you have seen that and message will become the fault reason this is to give demo on logging right so now our expectation is compiler will come here it will error out and then we'll log the fault and we can probably get rid of this log action here great let's deploy this and test it it is deployed now let's test it so as we can see this resulted in error now we'll go to our diagnostic file and search our uh, string and we will be able to see the complete fault there in the diagnostic log file so here you go as you can see from here it has started till here now it has been logged as error this is our search string that we gave as a message in our log action and this is the complete fault variable as you can see this was the code that we gave and this is the reason that we gave as part of that custom fault so this is it for logging action however there are a couple of more actions that you can leverage in order to store some information or to 
handle the faults in your OSB that we will be covering in the subsequent tutorials which are alerts and reports. So thank you so much for your time guys and have a nice rest of the day. Take care. Bye-bye.